I think the ECLVA program has really changed the way we do 3D echocardiography in many ways. And I think it's well accepted right now, 3D echocardiography-based measurements of ventricular function, whether it's volume or ejection fraction, are superior to 2D measurements. Now, with the LVA software, the entire 3D data set is acquired. And with a single click, essentially, the endocardium is automatically contoured using sort of a learning algorithm. When you have a fully automated algorithm that detects the endocardium, then that variability is taken out of the picture, which makes it easier to sort of believe the numbers and to follow people over a longitudinal period of time. So I think in many ways, this LVA software has really helped workflow and improved especially the reproducibility of these measurements. And with respect to accuracy, we have looked at this data using cardiac MRI and have shown that even a fully automated algorithm provides reasonable accuracy for measurement of both volumes and uh, ejection fraction. We know that in valvular disease quantification based on the American Society of Echo Guidelines, that it's important to use quantitative measures rather than just using qualitative measures. And when you look at quantitative methods, it consists of the vena contracta width, the effective regurgitant orifice area, the regurgitant volume, and the regurgitant fraction. So in the case of, for example, functional mitral regurgitation, EasyPISA will allow you to measure the surface area at every single systolic frame. And by using the frame rate, you're able to calculate a regurgitant volume based on every single one of these frames, add that up to give you a total regurgitant volume. But the fact that you are able to measure it automatically on every single frame is an important step forward and allows us to incorporate PISA quantification in day-to-day -day clinical practice because it's automated. And the fact that it's automated probably takes away, again, the inter- and intra-observer variability that's seen with 2D echocardiography or any manual attempts to segment the 3D surface area. Beyond the system, what you can do with the data is probably what I like the most. I think many unique aspects with respect to, again, automated quantification of volumes, automatic quantification of PISA, as well as flow. I think what you can do with that data set that you acquire from a 3D perspective is quite unique because I think it's very hard to find something in a comparable manner with respect to those forms of quantification.